definitely is a win for me. Uh, it's just unfortunate that we have to lose this match. But we are, we could, we could testify uh, that uh, we played all the game. That at least even we should have won or played a draw. But unfortunately, this is what we've had. So I believe I have to uh, go back, uh, see where I fell short, correct them before I play my next game against Arsenal. Do you think this defeat then makes it difficult for you to get into the top four, which has been the goal you set? I'm still uh, confident that I'll be in the top four. I've not finished. I told you until the last game that uh, we determine if I should be in the top four. But since we've not played the last game to the end, the league is not ended, I will not say I will not be in the top four. Kondoko are already champions in the Ghana Premier League. Um, what do you have to say about their, their performance this season, the fact that they are champions? Are they worthy champions? Uh, they are worthy champions, I would say. Because uh, since the, the start of the beginning of the league, I think uh, they took the lead. And till now that the league is coming to an end, they are still uh, on top. So I would say it's the worthy to be the champions. They play a good game. We play them. I have seen uh, they are a good side. They did not win the league on, on just on the flu, but they won because it's a hard work. So I congratulate them and say a good, a good work done. Which all the best Sunset Games. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, final whistle, another away game, three points in the bag. How do you do it on the road? Determination. Determination. We, we are always determined to get a job done on the road because we have always had at the back of our minds that um, when teams come to Babayara, they double their effort to play us. So if that's the case, when we also go on the road, Let's also double our efforts or triple our efforts and see what happens there. So I think that determination, that resilience, uh, the belief that we can do it, and that teamwork, I think that's basically uh, the secret behind it. Well, if you look at the effort that they, they put in one go on the road, it's amazing. I mean, it's unflinching. And um, I would say it's determination. Fantastic stuff. And, and again, through all the season, you've consistently had injury problems or injury problems. Today, your centre-back partnership is yet again not your first choice in Mubarak and then the captain of Ganyu, of course. There's no Sharif who had played almost every game till his injury. And several other players, I think of Oscar Roy, he got injured. But some way, somehow, you managed to, to find solutions to, to where there are problems. Again, how do you make that happen? I always tell them that they should be ready. Uh, it's a league and that uh, we are playing 34 games. And there's a likelihood that somewhere along the line, there will be injuries, there will be fatigue, uh, some will dip in performance. So everybody should get ready. So I think uh, I told them this from the beginning of the season. I remember my team manager, Oyuni Brinya, telling them that it's a league. And it will surprise them that getting to the third end of the league, those that we are not using, those are the people who have to carry uh, the team along. And actually, his pro prophecy has come to pass. So... We told them from the beginning and we made sure that any time those, those you see now were, were not playing, we had additional sessions for them to keep them fit. Uh, so I think the fact that uh, we always make sure that we keep them game ready, that's why we've been able to uh, use them, especially the center pair. So I'm, I'm happy for them that uh, when the onus fell on them to, to, to hold uh, S on the road and even at home, uh, they've been able to do that. And kudos to them yeah. and to all those players who had the opportunity getting to the dying and best to, to play. And kudos to the technical team as well. Now, a two guys go. It's, it's two, two questions I want to pin into one. That is Imoro's eighth assists of the league season. And that is a two guys 
go number 21 in the commentary i was saying that over to you yawano they keep pushing each other what do you make of the goal and the fact that Imro this season just has a knack for finding assists it was a typical training grounds goal we play a lot of combo what they did we call it combo combination play we play a lot of them and if you look at what they did it's something that happens at training and the time is what amazes me i mean the turn was sharp and the technique that he applied was super and they pick his spot that was far behind the ball good technique it's a world class goal you're a league winner Right up on the back of winning the league, here you are winning another game. Is there any stop in Kotoko now? I think we have to keep working. I mean, it's, it's not a complete team. We need to keep working. As I said last week, the standard in Africa is higher and it's at a different level. So we need to keep working harder than we are working now. We need to be more focused, more determined. And going forward to next season, I mean, we to, to, to stay at the top normally is very difficult because uh people would have people who, who trace the way you play and then try to counteract it come in double effort like they've done this season so we need to keep working harder than we've been working this season and i'm sure once we work harder we stay confident we believe in ourselves and we stay determined i'm sure we'll be able to 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 still play like the way we are playing uh this season and let's see what happens Coach, as, congratulations as Congratulations. Thank Big congratulations you. to you, the technical team, and the rest of the players. Thank you. Yeah, today is one of the matches, so Max Wachman is going to speak the French on my behalf. As I pose the questions to him, first of all, congratulations to him and the two of you. Um, ask a two for me that what does he make of the goal that he scored? And out of all the goals he scored this season, which one did he really enjoy scoring? The pitch I'm making for this season, it's a key pitch that's important. You're going to have to get the players to start again, right? And you're going to be able to get the players to start again, right? And you're going to be able to get the players to start again, right? Mais c'est la plus mauvaise que ça a donné à tous les spectateurs. Après le match, il y a même un supporter qui s'est gratté et qui est content. Donc, pour moi, c'est le but le plus important de ma saison. Le but qu'on peut faire, pas peut-être le plus beau, mais le plus important. Vous êtes le goal qu'il a scoré contre Akara Soufou. Oui, c'est ça. Le penalty. Oui, le penalty. Vous avez aimé ça. Oui, c'était un penalty, mais c'était un penalty. C'était un penalty. Oui, absolument. Maintenant, he scored 21 goals in a brilliant player, but did he ever think that he was going to get these numbers or these numbers when he signed up for Kotoko? He said, I'm going to be 21. But you're in your head that you're going to be 21. No, at the beginning, yes, it was my souvenir of the two objectives. He won the championship and he won the best of the team. So, he was going to be in the middle of the game. It was good. He said he's happy. He's happy scoring 21 goals, but it's not the end of the season. So he's working hard to score more goals at the end of the season. Yeah. All right. So he's the man of the match today. What What does he have to say about the team, his teammates, and all who have helped him to chop the sauce that he's chopped so far and to win the man of the match today? He said you have a long match. Well, the coach was. Tu vas me dire que je suis, je suis content que j'ai eu l'homme du match et je remercie vous mes coéquipiers. C'est grâce à vous. Il est heureux, il est heureux d'être le champion du match et il va remercier ses teammates pour l'aider à obtenir le champion du match. Merci beaucoup, Marcel. Vous avez joué très bien aussi. Merci à tous. Ok, merci.
Thanks.